Oh, no, universe where you can hit a, a no. duck hunt or ozone with a Gordo. No. Oh, my God. There's her boxes circling him 100% of the time. Yeah, it's like cans flying everywhere. You got the clay pigeons throwing those out. There's I, just dudes? Right, out, right off the bat. There's just a, a man? Yeah. yeah. So, nope. Nope. He'll take a Gordo in the mouth. His yeah. pants will come off, but you're not about to hit that dog with a Gordo. Yeah, I mean, you got the gringos and the gauchos. Hey, I just learned that if the can hits the banana, it just keeps going and the banana disappears. Yeah. I now know that. Huh. But uh, can coming out frame one and just ignoring every combo that you can think of. It's like, oh, that's a nice uh, one frame window you have in your combo there. It'd be a shame if I hit the B button. Man, you're really, you're really relying on that. <laughs> that's a nice joke today. Like, it's, a, it's a fun, it's a fun <laughs> phrase. <laughs> I call you on that one. Fifth time I hear it. <laughs> uh, I mean, hey, it's better than nice back air. It, uh, it, most things are. <laughs> I would like to play Ozone, which is an insane thing for me to say, but I used to play them like every week, and then I played yeah. a good couple hours versus Outfox for like a real long time. Yeah, mm -hmm. I remember developing the edge play with um, that meta that he has now, because it'd be like he'd figure something out, I'd figure a way around yeah. it, and then he'd figure a way around that, and it'd basically just be a back and forth between us, and then all of a sudden he just took off out of nowhere, and I was left in the dust. Yeah, my last set was really close to Ozone, and if I ever could beat him, it's going to make me feel really, really good. Yeah. I mean, honestly, to see how far Ozone's come in roughly a year is really impressive. Ozone is hard to beat. Because if your set with him is close, if, if ever your skill level is close with Ozone, just the idea of keeping up with his progress yeah. is is ridiculous. Kid improved so unbelievably fast, can't even understand. That right. being said, he did get fourth at Gamers Gauntlet. He wasn't in the top three picture, but he was there. So that was a that was an interesting low for Ozone. Yeah. If you can call a fourth place low, he lost the Runes and Seth. He got Falcon. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, hey, Seth finally making his comebacks here. Overall, Ozone has been just out of control improvement since the f since the first day. He has not slowed down at all. Yeah. And I didn't even realize he took this first stock. Jeez. I thought it was just relatively yeah. even. Oh, no, he's been uh, just throwing out projectiles and lustering King James because his aggressive play style that we saw earlier is kind of working against him because... Yeah, you're right. King James, like I said before, is aggressive. Yeah, and so with Ozone's more defensive wall style... He's just been running into all these projectiles that Ozone's been throwing out here, and he hasn't really been respecting the neutral that much. I, King James sat there and waited for the cane to get to him before he grabbed him. I don't know if he did that on purpose, but it made it to where his up throw just armored through the can, and it was really smart by King James. Yeah, and those are uh, the little if it was on purpose. Yeah, those are the little details that you've really got to take advantage of in this match, of just knowing how the tools work make it so much easier to deal with Duck Hunt. <laughs> James trying to stop Duck Hunt's projectiles with his own. What a great pivot grab. And the uh, peanuts and the banana both just, just stopped dead in their tracks. The can just... Yeah, I mean, just using that can so effectively, just forcing King James to just go to the air here rather than being able to rely on any sort of ground game is really shutting down this banana play. Duck Hunt's multi-jab is like the hardest multi-jab to SDI out of. I don't yeah. even know if you can. Like, the, I think you can if they hold it for a long time, but the, uh, the regular amount of time that it takes, I don't think you can escape it. Yeah, I mean, that's danger duck for you. Yeah. I like Duck Hunt's victory music. Yeah. I like the fact that they pulled in a lot of the old Zapper games from the NES, like the can. Yeah. They have the Hogan's Alley can. When right? I originally doubted Duck Hunt being in, in this game and that whole thing, it's because I couldn't imagine a moveset. Yeah. Like I couldn't even imagine it, but they just give me just the Zapper moveset. Yeah. That's what it's, it's everything about the Zapper, and the Duck Hunt is just like the, uh, the surrogate yeah. for, for all the Zapper games. I like it a lot. But yeah, I mean, if you look closely on the can, you can even see it say Hogan Sally. Like they put that much detail. In. Yeah, yeah, on the can. Yep. Yeah. It's cool. And they got the clay, uh, the clay pigeon. Clay shot, that yep. game. Yep, the second move from Duck Hunt. God, I wish yep. Zapper worked on modern TVs. He's a great character. Yeah, that's all. That's a bummer. Yeah. Which Problem is another reason to keep your CRTs, man. Yeah, all I've got is a little 13 inches. <laughs> it's not much fun to play. Wow, 101% unanswered. I worked at customer service at Best Buy. Every single day, people would just bring beautiful, wonderful CRTs and recycle them, which we can just destroy them. Oh, no. And I, saw, I talked to the manager, too. I tried. I was like, can I just take these? Please, let me save these. I have community people that would love to save these CRTs, and I couldn't. I'm not allowed to. Wow. Because they had to... In order for us to take it, they have to pay us like 20 bucks to drop off their TV. Oh. And I couldn't be like, dude, don't pay us. Just give it to me. Put it in my car for free. I wasn't allowed to do that. It sucked. Anyways, though, King James, luckily, is able to close this gap a bit. He was down like 100%. What the banana? Okay. 
made that can wow. explode right in his face immediately. I don't know if he can come back from it. <laughs> wow. That was clever. I don't think he hit the duck with the or the dog with the back air. I think he, he back aired the can yep. and the explosion stayed yeah, spiked the, ozone. Yep, that's exactly <laughs> what happened. And it's those little interactions that you have to learn how to deal with. Yeah, how James ended up taking that first stock. That's fantastic. Yeah, I mean, after being behind by 100%. The 100 to zero, too. It's not like it was 200 to 100 and they were both going to kill each other. It was 101 to nothing. Yeah. So ozone now having to play on the back foot here. Yep. And this is definitely where he, he could be in a bit of trouble if he can't find the kill, but finding that there kill with the back air and being able to go back to his normal play style. Yeah, it's hard to find confirms in the kills, but uh, the aerials where you get poked by the duck hurt. Yeah. Up air and back air, and even forward air. Yep. The even, strong moves. Yeah, and even worse than that, having to approach his duck hunt. Yeah. Duck hunt, probably fully because of Ozone, makes me think that... Ozone makes me think that duck hunt is a way better character than people think he is. But uh, it's probably just because I'm bad. <laughs> I love how Duck Hunt Dog holds a banana in his mouth. It looks like he's one of those generals with the cigar I, in his I mouth. Was, has I that angry grin on his face with the banana sticking out. Yeah, the other day when I was with Alphox, I was making fun Ooh. of Duck Hunt in general for the fact that you are controlling a dog and none of your attacks are you hitting him with a dog. Like a dog, if you, I would much rather be attacked by a duck than a dog. <laughs> like, but all the moves hit you. The only time the dog hits you is during his jab or during his goofy spinning nair. Yeah. Everything else, he just hits you with a duck. I'm like, dude, yeah. use your claws, man. <laughs> Rip those people up. Bite them. No, he just holds on to them. That's, uh, he grabs or nares them. That's all you get. And uh, also, I'm showing off for a moment there why duck hunt dog smashes are unreliable. Oh, uh, duck hunt dog smashes are so sad. Yeah, it's so sad when you miss them for the duck hunt. It's sad when they don't miss. Like, no matter what, he never, so some person feels ripped off and you get hit by a duck on smash. Oh. Ozone almost made the sit comeback, but King James kept yeah. himself in this set. Yeah. Towards the end of that right there, though, one of the things I want to take note of Go ahead. is when they were doing that standoff and Ozone had the can and King James was throwing the banana, or because the banana hit him, and basically at that point, Ozone rolled away in order to get away from him. And he had the can there to cover that roll because if King James had come in to try and ground, he could have just hit the B button and detonated the can and gotten himself out of that situation. Yeah, he does it a lot. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. It's something that Ozone likes to do is put the can out and then just go stand there and hold shield. If a can hits a shield, it blows up immediately no matter what. Yep. And so he just stands with his shield next to the can. So if anybody puts an attack out, like you try and do with Falcon, try and do falling up air on a shield, the can explodes immediately. Yeah. And that's really where Ozone shines, just being able to play around his duels. Yeah, he's so good at utilizing the cam for, for everything that's worth. Oh, man. <laughs> there's lots going on. Ozone ends up on top, interestingly yeah. enough, when that was, was kind of James putting on a ton of pressure there for yeah, a second. I mean, that was really a slumber knocker, the way they were just trading there. Yeah, but if you've got a frame one, wow. frame one combo escaping move that hits both people and you're both at the same percent, that means that the, it'll hit you guys both away together so you can keep just keep yeah. going at it. Nice monkey flip to get through the can there. But Ozone here trying to find a way to finish off the stock before King James can create that opening here. Yep. King James did a better job this time in the first stock, which is weird to say seeing as he did end up taking the first stock last time, but yeah. he didn't uh, dig a big hole for himself first this time. Oh, that was a, that monkey flip was incredibly good. Yeah, he really needed that in order to get out of that situation. Yeah, it was, that was a spot where he was like trapped if he went down, no matter what, if he would have yeah. fell down, something was going to hit him. Yeah, and, and even if flip. he jumps, since he was able to air dodge through that aerial that was trying to trap his jump, that monkey flip was just such a good move to get him out of that. You know, Ozone hit him point blank with the banana. I think he could have killed him. Even with the up tilt at one Wow. Got him with the can, though. Perfect so spacing on that, too. This time, James has got to make a comeback. For the that. stock comeback, I should say. He's controlling that can, using it to control the space and give himself those openings to get back on the stage here. Yeah, this is. Oh, no. Wow. Uh, <laughs> that can's crazy, man. Yeah, it's the best combo breaker in the game, to be it, honest. It is, and even. Well, I mean, Shuriken's a pretty good combo breaker. Does that come out frame one? Yes. Well, no, invincibility is frame one. Okay. So, you know. But, uh,. The thing, not, not only breaks, there's been times where like it can break a combo, but it also would be like, I'll back air Duck Hunt at 106% on the ledge and wow. he'll start flying, and then the can will blow up and send him the other way and save him. Yep. Yeah, 
Mills out here doing everything he can to uh, restrict King James's movement. Yeah. James was able to take a stock, which is the hardest part. Um, the first 50% is normally not too hard to find. Yeah. The second half of the stock is always the hardest. But yeah. James is having a hard time getting started on this one. Oh, that's great. Nice. Yeah, that was kind of a tomahawk, but he just walked off the platform, turned around and grabbed him. Yeah, I mean, part of it was you have that can there ready to explode, so if you try and couldn't attack couldn't roll. Him, yeah. Or attack, yeah, he just kind of stuck there in his shield. I mean, King James could spot that as a roll backwards, but it is really impossible to know that that's what was going to happen. The element of surprise, like uh, Ozone, Nebula, those type of people, you never even know what they're trying to do to you. Yeah, and that's really a fun thing to see about some of these lower tier characters. You're oh. not used to seeing their tool set, so it's almost like you're getting to see something new every time you see him play. Yeah. Man, how is Duck Hunt? She still hasn't hit him, I just noticed. Yeah. How is Duck Hunt down smash going to be so hard to connect the hits and still not kill at 120%? Because sadness. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Woo. King James has got to get started. Yeah. I if mean, he can get started, then I can't, I have faith in his ability to get him up to, like, 70 or 80. But Yeah, I mean, if he can get the Diddy Vortex going, get something here, just some sort of combo. But the problem is, Ozone's just playing keep away All here. right, here we go. No, nothing. Never mind. Yeah. And like then the forward throw. Like, I know he wanted to get him off stage. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Tom this is going to have some type of punish right here. Yep. Just keep him in the air. Uh, Ozone kind of has a fairly predictable air dodge habit. But like I said, he got him up to 50 pretty easily once he found a hit. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be it. Yep. Finally connecting with that yeah. smash. That time he just went for the smash after the banana, which is good. Jeez. Do I got to go play? Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, what? It happened to my capture card. Uh oh. Oh, how long has that been like that? Uh, no, it's just now when we switched. Oh, I was like, well, we were watching the whole thing. Jeez. 